I was like, what if I'm unemployed, I'm broke and have to move back in with my parents <laughs> for my 30th birthday? Like, I'm going to be so depressed. I might myself put all of my time and energy into it over the next couple of months. The title is kind of dramatic, but let's just get straight into it. Um, it's been a bit of a whirlwind last month, last few weeks, I would say. For those of you that don't know, I have been painting, I think probably since 2018. I started very much as a hobby. I went to like a painting course in 2018, started painting then. It's kind of grown and evolved over the years to be like I don't know, it's, it's quite a part of my life right now and it's going to be a bigger part of my life. And um, so I've exhibited in galleries, I've sold art, etc, etc. But all throughout that, I have always had a full time job because to me, I don't know, I need that consistency of money coming in and knowing that I can like afford things like rent. I'm in my bedroom right now and that has been the best solution for me is to like paint as a side hustle and then also have a full-time job but recently I think in the last six months to a year I found it really difficult I think also because during Covid it was like quite quiet socially and no one was really going out or on holiday whereas in the last few months it's been quite hard to um, have a full-time job have a pretty big side hustle or well, for me I, this is quite a side hustle it takes up quite a lot of time and also socialize see friends see family etc it's been quite hard to balance and I found myself like either resenting my job or resenting my art or you know all of these different things or like putting off going out with people and everything which is not something that I want to do either so this takes me to where I am now at work um, so I work in tech, I'm a product manager for anyone who, who is in the industry. I work in tech and over the last year or so the business hasn't been doing so great and they did a round of redundancies last year. Redundancies are basically like layoffs or cutting jobs for anyone who hasn't been through it and they did, they announced another round, I think it was end of, middle of May or something like that. And this round, I didn't get made redundant, but I applied for redundancy and I have been made redundant as a consequence because I wanted it. It's kind of scary, I guess, um, because yes, they do give you a little payout to tide you over um, to find another job. So it's kind of scary that there's no money coming in necessarily from a full time income each month after this which you've been saying that is quite scary but it's also super exciting because I feel like since I started my art there was some time in Covid where I had lots of time to paint but I was never furloughed I was always like working throughout that time I've never had a time where I can just focus on my art I'm going to give myself a few months to focus on my art and just see what happens because I started, when I found out that my redundancy had been accepted, I like started applying like crazy to jobs. I was asking people, I was like, refer me to this, refer me to that. Anyway, sending out my CV, messaging everyone on LinkedIn, updating my LinkedIn. And I think I just realized I actually just canceled an interview as well because I was just like, why are you doing this? Like, this isn't actually what you want to do. Like, I've always wanted to see if I can give it a go and just paint for a few months or do whatever, try and promote myself, put all of my time and energy into it over the next couple of months, see what happens. And if it doesn't work, I'll find a job. Like, there's loads of jobs in London. I'll find another job. Maybe it's not the ideal job, but I'll do it. But I'm just like, if I don't do it now, if not now, then when kind of thing. And I guess it's also like, I'm 29, I'm turning 30 in October, which is also another scary thing. I feel like maybe I'm just trying to live out all my dreams before I turn 30. 
And there was part of me that said to one of my friends, I was like, what if I'm unemployed and broke and have to move back in with my parents <laughs> for my 30th birthday? Like, I'm gonna be so depressed. So, as of end of this week, there will be no job anymore. Um, and yeah, that's really exciting. So I think the next things that I'm gonna do, I have a holiday that I'd already booked to go to Portugal. I'm gonna go surfing. Uh, which I'm very excited for and then after that I've actually tagged on a few extra days because there's nothing to come back for. I'm going to go to Seville, I've always wanted to go to Seville and I think that will be really beautiful and then I'm going to go to Madrid for a few days after that as well so I'm going to do a little Portuguese Spanish adventure which I think will be really nice to like reset, calm down, get over all the hecticness because I'm quite an emotional person. This has been an emotional roller coaster and I can tell that this week saying goodbye to my colleagues at work will be quite sad as well. Um, but I'm going to do that. Have a little Portuguese Spanish adventure. If you've got any tips on surfing, Seville, anything like that, let me know because I would love to know. Um, and then after that, I think I'm going to give myself some time to focus on my art and what that means specifically I'm not exactly sure I think I'm just gonna like paint my heart out <laughs> hit up people that I know have asked for commissions before see if people want commissions put myself out there like I'm gonna come up with a whole plan to try and kickstart this and see what I can make happen so I guess I'm putting this on YouTube as well to like make me do it because I can feel like if I get scared I'll just end up applying to like loads of jobs again and then I'll be back to square one. So this is me putting it out there. And then I'll come back with a few months, update you. Maybe it's been a fail and that's okay. At least I tried. But maybe it'll work out. So if you want to support me, give me a shout. <laughs> Help a girl out here. Um, then please like, subscribe share my artwork talk about my artwork i really appreciate all the support that you already give me um and yeah i will let you know any updates if you want to follow day by day updates as well please feel feel free to follow me on instagram tiktok where i post a lot more regularly so bye